fields from IBM. I'll do a little bit of discussion of some of the recent exciting announcements we've had, and then Ronnie Borker, also from IBM, will, will pick up the mic and she'll talk about what's coming in our roadmap. If you haven't met Ronnie yet, get to know her today. She's been a great add to our team over the last few months, and she's going to do great things for Open Power. So we're really excited to be here with her. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit, of, as I said, about some of the, uh, the recent announcements, mostly focused around high-speed interfaces, and Ronnie's going to talk about the Power Roadmap and Power 9 specifically. So uh, I think you all know there's some pretty big trends sweeping the industry right now. Um, the, the demands of data and compute are, are putting some pretty enormous requirements on hardware performance. Um, new memory technologies are going to reshape the economics of data centers. Microprocessors are not getting it done with respect to cost performance generation to generation. We're, we're on a much slower curve than we once were. And to top it all off, none of us are getting bigger budgets. So something's got to change. Um, our, one of the approaches we've taken uh, within the open power community, as many of you know, is to open up new on-ramps into our processors to allow uh, accelerators and, and other devices to integrate into the system more natively and, and deliver more efficiency and ultimately more performance for lower cost. So one of the exciting announcements we've had in the past couple of months was partnering with NVIDIA. Uh, we announced an NVLink interface on a new version of the Power8 microprocessor. So it's Power8 with NVLink. Um, breaking the, the performance, the bandwidth bottleneck between the CPU and the GPU, allowing the GPU to get full access to system memory, allowing the CPU and the GPU to interact intelligently and, and efficiently. Um, you know, we've, within IBM, we've built a lot of great things over the years. This is by far the, the best take, off, take up we've ever had on anything new we've introduced in the market. Uh, everywhere we go, we show this, the, the, the new interfaces, the new systems with them. Uh, there's a lot of excitement there because that, that PCI bandwidth bottleneck has been a challenge for many people for a lot of years. Um, the other thing John mentioned already is the launch of OpenCAPI. Uh, this happened earlier this month, a couple weeks ago. Um, as we looked at the progress we'd made together with, with many of you on driving CAPI value into the market, um, it was clear we needed to take it to the next level, both on a performance basis and on an ecosystem basis. So uh, create a, a brand new interface that will be on our Power9 microprocessor, uh, 25 gigabit, so much higher bandwidth than, than CAPI over PCI and lower latency. Uh, the, the protocol's totally streamlined to allow uh, a lightweight layer in an accelerator device, uh, make it easier to build an accelerator device and get it, get it integrated onto the interface. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll get lots of new capabilities with OpenCAPI from a technical perspective, but probably the bigger impact of, of what we did is opening it up to not just the power architecture, but a broader ecosystem so we could pull in partners like Dell, like HPE, uh, like AMD, to uh, help us create this accelerated world that we've all been, been working so hard for. Um, a lot of, lot of discussions leading up to this event that, that led to these, these partnerships and, and these members joining. Uh, much like the early days of Open Power, we're seeing, seeing new members join every day. Uh, so a lot of interest out there and, and clearly a lot of pent-up demand for, for an interface like this. Um, in, in the area of attaching storage class memories, um, we, we did a demo, Adam McPadden, who I think is here somewhere, did a demo in April at the US Open Power Summit showing uh, storage class, uh, showing Everspin MRAM uh, running in a server slot. We've got a, a more advanced version of that demo that'll happen here at, at this event. So this will be the, this is the first real example of a storage class memory in the industry running as system memory in a server publicly. So. Uh, that's, that's very exciting and lots more to come. So with that, we'll bring up Ronnie and...